<clears throat> Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, today we're going to be working on lesson 16. We skipped lesson 15. I just felt like it was a lesson that we were able to skip, so I decided to skip it. Uh, lesson 16 still deals with writing expressions in which letters stand for numbers. Okay, so the objective is I can write algebraic expressions that record all operations with numbers and letters standing for numbers, so variables. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is just um, kind of understanding the direct relationship between words in a written phrase and their, appear their appearance in an algebraic expression. Okay, so we're just going to turn words into an expression. Okay, so opening exercise, um, it's just telling us to underline the key words in each statement. Okay, so I'm going to go through this real quick and underline the keywords. Letter A tells us the sum of twice B and 5. Okay, the keywords here are sum and twice. Okay, B tells us the quotient of C and D. Okay, the keyword here is quotient. That gives us division. Okay. A raised to the fifth power, then increased by the product of 5 and C. Okay, I'm going to underline fifth power. Increased by and product. Okay, those were the key words. Letter D, the quantity of A plus B divided by 4. The quantity plus and divided by four are the key words. 10 less than the product of 15 and C. So less than and product. And then five times D then increase by eight. Five times D then increase by eight. I'm gonna underline times and increase by. Okay, so those are the words that are gonna help us write out our expressions. And, you, and they're gonna help us see which um, which symbols we're going to use, okay? And what kind of operations we're going to use. Okay, mathematical modeling exercise one uh, tells us model how to change the expression given in the opening exercise from words to variables and numbers. Okay, so the sum of B and five, okay? I know that the keywords are sum and twice, sorry, the sum of twice B and five. Okay, so I underlined the keywords and then identify the operations each keyword implies. So sum is addition and twice means times two, okay, or multiplying by two. Okay, so the sum of twice B and five, okay. So twice B would be 2B, okay. Twice B would be 2B because it's two times B the sum of twice b, 2b, and 5, plus 5. Okay, that's the answer to letter A. The quotient of c and d. The keyword is quotient. The quotient of c and d is just going to be c over d, okay, or c, d, c divided by d. Letter c, a raised to the fifth power, then increased by the product of 5 and c. Okay, the key words first are fifth power, increased, and product. Okay, so A raised to the fifth power, let's do that first. A raised to the fifth power. Okay, that's the exponent, A to the fifth power. Then increased, increased means addition by the product of 5 and C, which would just be 5 times C or 5C. So that is our answer, a to the fifth power plus 5c. All right, let's move on. The quantity of a plus b divided by 4. The quantity of a plus b divided by 4. Okay, so the keywords are quantity a plus b divided by 4. So our keywords are quantity plus and divided. Okay, the quantity of A plus B, remember, that's when we add our, uh, okay, 
Okay, A plus B, and then plus 4, or divided by 4, sorry, divided by 4. Okay, and if we wrote it as a fraction, it would just be A plus B over 4. Okay, make sure when we see the word quantity, that's when we're going to have to include parentheses. Okay, letter E tells us 10 less than the product of 15 and C, 10 less than the product of 15 and C. So less than and product of 15 and C, but it's telling us 10 less than the product of 15 and C. So it's gonna be 15 times C, which is 15 C minus 10. And that is our answer to letter E. Letter F tells us five times D then increase by eight. Five times D then increase by eight. 5 times D then increased by 8. So the keywords are times and increased. So it's going to be 5D plus 8. Remember, increased equals addition. Okay? Awesome. Let's move on. So mathematical modeling exercise 2 are just some uh, real world scenarios, okay? And I'm gonna read this first one off and I'm gonna let you do the second one on your own, okay? So it says, model how to change each real world scenario to an expression using variables and numbers. Underline the text to show the keywords before writing the expression. Marcus has four more dollars than Yassin. If Y is the amount of money Yassin has, okay? Write an expression to show how much money Marcus has. Okay, so let's look at this. Marcus has four more dollars, okay, than Yassin. If Y is the amount of money Yassin has, write an expression to show how much money Marcus has, okay? So Yassin's money equals Y, okay? And he has four more dollars. Marcus has four more dollars than Yassin. So the expression that's going to symbolize how much money Marcus has is going to be Y plus 4, okay? And that's our answer. We don't know how much money he has with Y, but we know he has 4 more dollars than Yassin, okay? Let's move on. So, everyone look at this. Mario is missing half of his assignments. If A represents the number of assignments, write an expression to show... How many missing assignments Mar Mario is missing? Okay, so please try this on your own real quick. Take about three minutes, pause the video, and we'll continue. All right, so you should have um, tried this on your own. Pause the video. Um, I'm going to highlight some keywords. Half, okay, 10 assignments, or A represents a number of assignments okay so write an expression to show how many assignments mario is missing so all we have is a over two so one half or a divided by two okay all we're doing is cutting a that represents the number of assignments in half because he is missing half of his assignments okay so this is the answer or this or this all right, we underline the keywords, okay? Now, if Mario was missing 10 assignments, how many is he missing? Or if Mario was assigned 10 assignments, how many is he missing? So all we're doing is substituting 10 for A. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So he's missing 5 assignments. Okay, let's move on. Camila's weight has tripled since her birthday. If W represents the amount Camila weighed on her first birthday, write an expression to show how much Camila weighs now. Okay, so let's highlight some keywords real quick. Camila's weight has tripled. Tripled is a keyword. Um, weight on her first birthday, write an expression to show. If W, w represents the amount Camila weighed on her first birthday. Okay, so how we're going to write this is tripled means three times three. Okay, and W represents the amount that 
Camila weighed on her first birthday. So that is our answer. Just three W. Okay, now, if Camila weighed 20 pounds on her first birthday, how much does she weigh now? All we're going to do is substitute 20, 20 for W. 3 times 20 equals 60. So she weighs 60 pounds now. All right, let's continue. I want you to try this on your own. Pause your video and take about four to five minutes on this to try to figure it out. And then, and then go ahead and start the video up again. All right, so you should have tried this on your own. And um, it says, Nathan brings cupcakes to school and gives them to his five best friends, okay? Five best friends who share them equally. If C represents the number of cupcakes Nathan brings to school, write an expression to show how many cupcakes each of his friends receive. Okay, so what we're going to do is C represents the cupcakes. And he's going to divide them into five of his best friends. Okay, C divided by five. That's our expression. Or C over five. Okay, so that's the answer to this problem. It says, if Nathan brings 15 cupcakes to school, how many will each friend receive? Well, all we're doing is substituting... 15 for C, so 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So each of them are going to get 3 cookies, or 3 cupcakes. Okay, Marcus combines her atlas, atlases and, and dictionaries and then divides them among 10 different tables. If A represents the number of atlases and D represents the number of dictionaries, Mr. Marcus has, write an expression to show how many books would be on each table. Okay, so some keywords is Mr. Marcus combines his atlases and dictionaries and then divides them. Combines, what do you guys think that would be? Combines is definitely addition. Okay, then he's going to divide them by 10. Okay, 10 different tables. So remember, A represents atlases and D represents dictionaries. So we're going to add those together first. Okay, and we need to find what that answer is first. So we're going to put those in parentheses and then divide by the 10 tables. Okay, or you could do A plus D over 10. Okay, so it says if Marcus had eight atlases and 12 dictionaries, how many books would be in each table? So all I'm doing is substituting those numbers for A and D. 8 plus 12 equals 20. Okay. 20 divided by 10 equals 10. Or 2, sorry. Okay. I want you to try this last one on your own. Okay. And then I'll just cut write down the answer because we're running out of time. So pause the video for about three minutes and write your answer down and then we'll go over it. Okay, you should have paused your video. We're going to go over this problem real quick and then we'll almost be done. To improve in basketball, Ivan's coach told him that he needs to take four times as many free throws and four times as many jump shots every day. If F represents the number of free throws and J represents the number of jump shots Ivan shoots daily, Write an expression to show how many shots he will need to take in order to improve his basketball. Okay, four times as many free throws and four times as many jump shots. F represents free throws, J represents jump shots. Okay, so this can be 4F plus 4J. Okay, four times free throws, four times jump shots. Or if we want to use the distributive property, can be like this okay awesome so I want you to work individually on these four problems okay and then we'll go over those as the problems when we go over the problem set on Wednesday okay I'll send out the problem set tomorrow that's it for today I hope you guys have a great Monday Try to work on these problems on your own, and we'll get to it on Wednesday. See you guys soon.